What is forward-facing sonar? I run Garmin Live Scope. This is just a tool that I have to see in front of my boat to see a live image of what's going on underneath the water where I aim the, you know, the transducer. Where I aim it is where I'm, I'm looking. It's showing me fish movement. It's showing me, you know, structure. It's just showing me everything. I'm seeing bait fish swim around. So it's, it's just an underwater camera that's showing you a live, live view. How has it changed fishing? It has caught thousands and thousands and thousands of bass that would have never been caught before. And to, to dive into that deeper, I believe there was always fish that we always caught, you know, that were, were related to something. We didn't need live sonar to catch these fish. It was on docks, if it was on lily pads, rock, so forth. And there was always a group of fish that would go out into the abyss or away from structure and wouldn't get fish for, for long periods of time. Now those fish are getting caught as well as the fish that are related to structure. So what I believe is happening, fish are getting harder to catch every year because of this. They don't have a break anymore. So that's why you got to stay in tune with this. You got to keep evolving with this because it's just going to keep going and going and going. Are there times to turn it off? I don't think so. <laughs> I think it's so valuable that I'll live with the ping being a determinant and the, 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 the ping off the transducer that that's putting off a noise under the water sometimes disturbs fish. I'll live with that to be able to see 99% of the time what the fish are doing. So at this point, I don't think there's ever a time to take it off. Like we talked about in my first seminar, even in fisheries that you think you shouldn't use it or you think it's in your way, still keep it there, have it ready. Okay. One cool thing is you get to see, you know, is there a school of fish out there? Is there singles or so forth like that? You know, if you could think about this, guys, I'm sure in, at some point in your fishing, before live, you know, before live sonar, you know, live view up front sonar, you were catching fish at some point, a magical day, you're catching them every cast off a particular place or multiple fish. Now, okay, you can see what's down there. And think about this, how many times have you still had that experience where you've caught a whole bunch? You know, now you might catch four or five and it's like, wow, that's really good. And you see four or five there and you caught all four or five. But, you know, there's times where I have seen just an incredible amount of fish down there. and. And I get to see their their behavior, you know, and, and like you just being on a Tennessee River, you know, on these ledge tournaments with with uh, live scope, you idle and you find these groups of fish, and then you're able to put the live sonar on them. You could see them just sitting down there, not not even active at, at all. And what what happens is you could play with baits, and you might throw a worm out there, and you get no reaction or you might throw a crankbait and you get maybe one or, or you throw a magnum spoon and 10 of them come up and you get to see this behavior where before you never knew what was really going on until you got a bite, you're like, okay, that works. You know, so it, it's really cool to be able to see the behavior change. I've seen times where you got a group of fish, they're inactive, a group of bait fish swims by, I see this whole thing go on and they get so active and you can catch every one of them. You know, but is that something you could pattern? No, you never know when bait fish are going to swim through. Uh, single fish. I have noticed anymore, and I think this is because of pressure and all of us getting so good with live scope, there's times where I'm actually looking for just single fish. I believe they're easier to catch.